batteries. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, yeah. Just first. Okay, we got to drop the cam. Did it? Good. Okay, let's start our reading now. Ready? I'm ready now. Okay. What's going on? All right. For some of you, uh, right off the bat, you're dealing with someone. They may be sabotaging the connection. Okay, I'm hearing something about... Um, somebody feeling like someone had sabotaged a connection um okay and uh okay let's continue uh for some of you though as i was meditating i'm seeing that something is um unbelievable like i see you looking at someone even kind of like you're not understanding it's like why like I, I don't get it like why would he have done that why did he why did she do that at that time like something is unbelievable now let's get into it here aries i feel like you're also identifying something that is um important to you and you're sort of sticking let's say by your guns with that and you're being very focused with that i see you not budging with whatever it is that you've seen okay whatever it is that you've decided we have the uh five of wands it's interesting we just finished the virgo reading and these cards came through heavily and we could not get out of the reading so here they come here for you there could be a focus here on strong Virgo energy or strong Aries or strong Virgo Aries. Some of you, you may be dealing with a Virgo. Um, it may be that there's a question of boundaries for some of you. Maybe someone here is having boundaries and you're like, hey, like what's going on? It's like, well, you know, maybe someone here has started to you know, want, want maybe even, uh, uh, some, some space to decide on something here. And maybe that's sort of uh, so-called unusual. Okay. I don't know why that would be. Everybody has their space to decide, right? So maybe this is just a difference. It's, it's a shift in the dynamic of the behavior. I even see it like kind of as, um, you know, someone, someone realizing that they want to participate in a certain space, but that certain, you know, even needs requirements must be met. It's kind of like, you know, and this, it really, really was coming through in the Virgo. There's something that maybe you need to kind of have boundaries with, or someone feels they need to have boundaries with it's not a matter of wanting to be in the situation or not it's more a matter of you know kind of accepting that this is this is the situation uh-huh and and this is what it is okay and it's not really a matter of 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 why uh let's clear it it's a matter of how you accept as well i hear this new beginning so that could be a metaphor maybe it's you essentially you know with some aspect or area of your life Vir i'm hearing virgo aries it's something that you know, you want to make sure you're ready for, okay, to sort of, um, yeah, not play like devil's advocate with yourself with, you know, I see that there's something you want to clear a purge. Now, this could also be someone in your environment. Maybe they're not so happy about this change you're making. You're making some sort of major strides in your business or career. I see that with the Empress and the Three of Wands, Two of Wands, Four of Wands, even something here competitive with the Five of Wands. Somebody here is maybe like not wanting you to have options, not wanting you to be compet competitive, even I'm hearing, like competing. Okay, whoa exposure there um wanting to kind of like have you so-called all to themselves there's a little bit of like a possessive energy here as well definitely definitely with the seven of cups um and this was coming through as well in the virgo reading so let's get further here what's going on aries but i just see you looking at someone like why i'm hearing that like i don't get it like this doesn't make sense no it doesn't the knight of swords oh on the three of coins this could be how somebody feels as well about you maybe they're sort of like curious like feeling confused like why would Aries do that like why I hear that again like what's going on the nine of cups here on the knight of swords but uh there is something that eventually will sort of um I see end up making sense but right now it may be a little turbulent let's get a little further here with the chariot on the nine of cups the six of cups wow there's something that is this either in your periphery maybe you're like observing some space here for some of you this is something that you've been sort of deci uh, deciding on and I see that you're getting brave let's back it up let's go through our sugar yeah, there's a third party here or some kind of competitive energy, maybe even like someone here. Um, yeah, this, and this was coming through in the Virgo reading. You know, you really want to make sure that you are um, kind of like clear on your decision before it is that you also share it with others. There's something that you are also needing possibly to pay attention to, to heal. I see that with the Queen of Cups and the Empress. There's something that maybe even, you know, you really want to rush out with, but you want to make sure that you're prepared to have that experience. It's reminding me as well of the Taurus reading. Let's pull these cards to the side and get here a card for each of the days. Thank you for tuning in, Aries. If it's your first time, welcome. I'm a Venus in Aries, actually. My moon in the first house of Aries. Uh, my Mars in the eighth of Mars and, Pi and Pluto. Sun sign Pisces. King of Swords. You know, for some of you, um, yeah, the, the Queen of Cups, there's something unbelievable, possibly even about someone's behavior. It's like someone maybe is just acting like kind of defiant or like they're not even like looking at you. They're just like kind of ignoring you. It's like someone kind of seeming kind of like a sticklerish type. King of Swords leading to the Queen of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups. Let's get further here. Yeah, I feel like um, around this time, it's really important to not also try and like figure out, okay, where someone's at. You know, Mercury in, in Cancer can really kind of create a lot of so-called like um, questions, issues as a nine of cups in a separate deck twice. Interesting. Uh, so, you know, so you're, so you're trying to like understand and demystify someone's algorithm here with their behavior, but 
with a moon and a cancer, I mean, a moon and cancer, uh, and especially if you're dealing with someone who has a lot of cancer in their chart. Let's back it up. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> They may be having a, a period here. You, it's not really a time to kind of try and like make sense of something with them is what I'm hearing. King of Swords, Queen of Cups, yet again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's maybe even some sort of misunderstanding. Um, I hear again that I wouldn't feed into the confusion. Uh, I would not feed into the confusion. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You may be really tempted to even like reach out and just be like, hey, what's going on around the five, six, seven, around the 8th of July, which we have today. <laughs> okay, then we have here, um, yeah. I see you closing something. I'm just like, fuck it. I'm gonna die. Okay, with the eight of swords. Okay, like, yeah, okay. I don't need, uh, but yeah, okay. It's a yeah, okay moment. All right, <laughs> then we move here from the nine of wands into the devil. Wow. Page of swords. Something maybe makes you feel uncomfortable. It's like, I don't like not having an answer, but I feel like you're saying, you know what? Yeah, judgment. Uh, it's not about having an answer at all costs. Like, it has to be in the, in the proper way. Like, I'm not going to force this story to unfold. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Uh, around the... Six, six, seven, eight, 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 20th. There's a huge development here. For some of you, uh, something is just like really kind of even shocking, again, around the 8th. With the nine of cups it's like i see you just kind of looking at someone like where i mean are you serious like is this really where you want the relationship to go i'm hearing that as well or the the, the you know what is going on i see you having a lot of questions there around the nine with the nine of cups on the eighth mm -hmm. and you know after all this is a lot of cancer energy lunar energy if you're a strong aries emperor right there i was like hell yeah i am i'm an emperor what's up i'm here aries it's like okay <laughs> you you did you call my name i'm here in my reading it's like yeah what are we saying about cancer it's like for some of you there's something that is just kind of maybe even kind of um it's also just not your story for some of you or there's something that's kind of getting a little bit like kind of um confusing and i see you just saying you know i'm not going to try and figure this out i forget i forget it um let's get further i see that you're even kind of worried about something here with the nine of cups and then i just you saying you know what i'm just gonna drop it I feel like for some of you, you know, you do want an answer from someone about something. Oh my God, the lovers. For some of you, this is even nerves, okay? You may be tapping into someone else's nerves. They may be wanting to come through to you in a very particular way. And they're getting kind of like nervous, okay, about, they're, they're getting a little bit nervous about how they're going to eventually have this story with you. I feel this person is fantasizing, they're thinking a lot about the long term. Let me open the window really quickly, guys, um, here. Yeah, for some of you, um, this person may even have like a, an anxiousness, okay, like uh, just in general. It can be, okay, overall with um, being sort of even like so-called social, I'm hearing that. Okay, um, let's get a little bit on that nine of cups. What is, you know what, forget the nine of cups. I want to get on the double. I feel like around this time, yeah, like this is something very competitive, guys caterpillar funnel and gong uh it, this person has to come through guys i feel like you're very tempted to sort of come through where this person needs to come through it's like they need to, they need to come through and if they don't then they need to they need to experience what it feels like to more or less create a situation where they're not coming through okay and you, then you're not coming through and then There is no relationship. And for some of you, there is a massive sense of sabotage, but you know, that's too bad. Like, you know, you're saying, well, if you want to sabotage it, then that's going to be your decision. And if you sabotage it, it's kind of up to you to come back and make it better. You know, it's like, I, I cannot be wondering, you know, some of you, this person maybe created a very uncomfortable situation. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I feel like, mm-hmm. I see the Virgo energy here real strongly. Um, this person created even the Taurus energy. They, someone created a very uncomfortable situation where it's almost like, yeah, very, even for some of you starting to think like kind of manipulative, like kind of um, controlling even, okay? Like kind of um, even just confusing, like you, yeah. So if it's throwing you off, I would definitely hold off on whatever that is. I feel this person actually will interestingly kind of create some sort of clarity around the circumstance in the third week. Um, with that Emperor Mirror and the King Coins, I think you will be quite pleased, rather pleased with the with the sort of um, 
the way that this sort of leads out. I feel like there's a lot of nervousness, a lot of tension, a lot of questions. I feel like, again, try not to let that sort of get the best of you. Really, really try not to also give in to, you know, the shadow of others, like the, the even, you know, projected energy. This is something that maybe someone else is feeling. So if, unless someone comes through directly face to, face to face with you, just forget it. Like, don't worry about it. And then we have this third week that brings you back to the conversation, but in a way that actually works for you. So it's kind of like not letting, you know, your thoughts get the best of you kind of vibe. Like if you can't do something about it right now, like why are you spending time on it right now? You know, it's like doing anything about it right now. So the six of swords with the two of swords. Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, and Nine of Swords, Ace of Coins. There's something that I see that you're getting very professional. You're getting very focused with. And I see that this is something very um, exciting. So let's get a little further here really quickly here on that Knight of Swords. There's something here of a bit of like a competitive energy again. I keep seeing that. Um, you know, you may have to make a decision here how to approach this space. I see you almost like feeling, yeah, Knight of Wands. Oh my God. On the Knight of Swords with the Five of Cups, there's something that, um, you know, you have a lot of potential with and you know it, but it's so much a matter. Let's back it up. There's, you know, someone may even come through and say, hey, they may want to come through back around the mountain again with you this came through in the Sagittarius reading as well they okay really and you may want to check out the Sagittarius reading for this particular series there may be further insights there um for some of you here the knight of swords it's like they let's back it up somebody here wants to admit something to you like hey i i am into you like that and that is something that I want with you. And they maybe had a different sort of predicament here out, out with you in the first two weeks, especially and possibly even prior with that King of Swords looking back. Yeah, the Hermit. I see someone totally silent here even. Okay, in that first week of the cycle. In the second week, there is still this sort of like strange, okay, kind of creepy energy even with the devil. Like, what is he doing? Like, what's going on? Like, there's this eerie silence, like eerie, strange behavior even. Now, um yeah with the nine of wands okay anyways the third week though really turns around and i see the vibration the karma just shifts and it really 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 sort of re recalibrates out so it's exciting with the sun here mirroring this uh, awakening card sandwiching the queen of pentacles five of cups nine of wands or something that is a big opportunity here really and i feel like it's the way that it sort of comes about but i do see that you still want to have boundaries and you still want to sort of um yeah wow this person is oh my god i feel like this is something that you've been you've been waiting for might i say but it is really um kind of like not only what comes through but also how you approach it like uh let's say it like this you know page of wands there's a very very exciting new opportunity but what are the terms okay am i just gonna sort of accept it i feel like you guys don't want to just kind of just like accept it immediately queen uh temperance i thought that's like queen of swords there let's back it up queen of cups as well some of you this person you know they may come through even with an apology the tower in reverse some, let's back it up now they're very let's back it up let's clear let's clear, let's clear. this person has a lot uh-huh so my one warning here i see a crown they um they need to make sure, okay, they, you need to make sure that this person, well, they also maybe make sure that this person has made sure about something here that's very, very important. Like, hey, did you like clarify that? The King of Swords. This person may still be involved in something from the past. I feel like you want to question like, hey, are you like good with that? Like, are you okay with that? Like, what's going on with that? There's something that, you know, is, is kind of um, important to you feel like yeah it's like i can't have fun until i sort of address that back there so there's something that you know let's back it up yeah i can't have fun yet again this is sun card i can't have fun unless we've really talked about that so someone here maybe is very hot they want to come back in you know they want to be beginning with you but i mean is it going to be sort of taking you guys uh i'm here in I'm hearing as far as far as you can go should you have that conversation so yeah it's a bit of um maybe even sort of going back and forth a bit negotiation even um it's a bit of sort of um even uh debating okay possibly um debating and um for some of you possibly even um sort of uh, how do we say it's like a feedback loop kind of feeling like kind of checkmating testing different things um keeping an open mind i see that as well sort of um kind of weighing options as well here uh even sort of uh experimenting okay with different uh, different uh, opportunities here i see that on the table with the queen of swords in reverse possibly even discussing different things again maybe even negotiating uh sort of um fine-tuning the details okay i'm hearing weighing the so-called risks okay versus the returns there's something that you are really analyzing so thank you for tuning in love and light we'll see you in the